What is up guys, GeoSnow right here, welcome to the second week of May's jailbreak status update video. You probably know I'm making these videos each and every week in order to keep you updated on what happened during that specific week in the world of jailbreaking and in order to uh, let those who didn't watch all the important videos to see what is going on and what is new. I'm trying to combine everything that happened this week or the past week into one single video. So let's start and I'm going to start with the Yalu thing. Of course the Pangu jailbreak is a more broad topic at uh, at this point, but Yalu should not be forgotten as of the moment. So you probably know this week we also got a new fix for the iPhone 7 users. And now I'm speaking about the iPhone 7 users because they have the worst jailbreak possible. You probably know Yalu works perfectly on iPhone 6, 6s, 5s and so on, but not on the iPhone 7. Yalu plus Mac portal doesn't include the uh, Cydia substrate and so on. Well, now using this fix you can have it and it's available as I said in that video on this repo that is available right now on the screen, which is um, which is a repo that you can add in Cydia and if you follow up this tutorial that is going to be in the description, you're going to see how it looks like. It's pretty much a Cydia tweak that once you install is going to fix the, um, the Mac portal jailbreak so that you get Cydia substrate automatically starting and various other demons. Continuing ahead and remaining on the uh, Yalu side, this week we also encountered a lot of malware and uh, I made a video about the malware side and I also written this post which is currently pretty damn popular for some reason. It has nearly 1000 points on Reddit, which means people are growing concerned about the malware. Now, what malware means is usually viruses or rootkits or, or software that is actually malicious and try to spy on your device or try to attack your device, which is something not good. And this is happening right now in the jailbreak community. So if you wanna get informed on how you can protect your device, this week we discussed about how you can do that and uh, you can either read my post in here or watch this video in which we detailed a lot of things on this uh, malware site. Speaking about Yalu, unfortunately a couple of days ago, so still on the same week, we discovered uh, a fake Yalu 10.2.1 that um, of course it's not created by Luca Tedesco, but the uh, the guy who created the uh, the video claims it is actually created by Luca Tedesco and he tries to demo a jailbreak that is currently working uh, as of uh, what he says for iOS 10.2.1, when in fact it's not. I recommend it if you didn't see it, I recommend it to see this video in here because it's very important not to fall for that. Continuing ahead, let's speak a little bit about Mosaic. In my previous video that I made yesterday, I talked about Mosaic but not a lot of people watched that video and therefore I want to reiterate that because it's still part of the uh, the week's news about jailbreaking. You probably know that uh, three new speakers were added to the um, to the Mosaic conference, including Luca Tedesco. Although he said he's uh, done with anything related to the jailbreaking, he is still present at the Mosaic conference organized by Pango and POC or Power of Community. And he's going to talk about iOS exploit mitigation techniques. So, um, it's a pretty interesting topic. You can uh, definitely watch uh, the entire talk uh, about that in here. And you should keep in mind that the uh, the jailbreak that Pango has uh, demoed for iOS 10.3.1 seems to be holding the iOS 10.3.2 release for some reason. Apple should have released the iOS 10.3.2 already, but they did not. Or at least they should have released the beta 6 but again, they did not. It's been uh, 11 days or 12 days since the uh, beta 5 was released, but there's still nothing new from, um, from Apple, which means that they are probably buying on the rumor that Pangu is going to release a jailbreak after they release the iOS 10.3.2, which is definitely a not confirmed rumor, but it's probably uh, something that got Apple a little bit scared. Now, another thing that I want to mention at the end of this video is the fact that the iDevice portal website or web application that I'm working on is nearly done and you're going to be able to use this one soon. As you can see, this is the interface. It's going to contain quite a lot of things, including the iOS signing status and iOS reverse engineering tutorials, which means iOS hacking, the IPSW downloads iOS beta, but most important, the jailbreak status. And you can download the tools right away. And you can also see the uh, tutorials on how to use these jailbreaks and so on. 
And as you can see, you have a very big banner in here saying that there is no jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1 to 10.3.2 beta. So do not update yet. I really hope this page will be useful for you. And uh, this is currently what ha what was happening uh, during the past week on the jailbreak community. So to reiterate what was new, we've got a new fix for the Yalu Plus Mac Portal jailbreak for iOS 10.1.1, which was definitely important because this means that the iPhone 7 users can now enjoy a much more stable jailbreak with much more features than uh, it used to be. Then the second thing we discovered, unfortunately, a fake Yalu uh, 10.2.1 jailbreak, which was presented on a uh, channel that is a little bit popular, which is something bad, so you can definitely check that out. And also, we discussed about the Mosaic conference, which in the past week was updated with three new speakers, in which one of them is Luca Tedesco. He is going to talk about iOS um, exploit mitigations. So this is basically it, guys. This is what is new in the jailbreak community as for the past week. Uh, this week I'm going to also make at the end of this week a new video if something uh, interesting is happening But I'm going to keep you updated on whether you should update or whether iOS 10.3.2 will be uh, released or when it will be released So definitely subscribe to stay updated till the next time. I'm Geosnow Find the resources about which we discussed in the description and peace out